Hi, my name is Paul Grykowski. I'm Senior Manager responsible for the PCI Express Verification IP here at Synopsys. Today I'm going to be talking to you about an overview of the VIP itself. As you can see, our architecture is a system barrel lock based one that's um, built from the ground up to address the common verification issues, such as the time to first test, and ways we take care of that is to help you um, easily configure your device as well as provide sequences that you can take advantage of and even in uh, having test plans provided that you can take advantage of as well. Also the next thing we do is being it's built on system Verilog there are no wrappers involved so if it's a UVM API you're actually using UVM base classes and you can take advantage of those directly in your test bench to um, accelerate your verification development. And next is time to debug. So we want to provide you a lot of tools that enable debugging your test a lot quicker. So what we do that with that is we take advantage of protocol aware debug through Verdi Protocol Analyzer. It's a graphical user interface that enables you to visualize the transactions. So in the case of PCI Express, you can actually see the ordered sets, LTSSM, et cetera. And you can directly drill in on that without having to uh, work at a lower level. And then finally, we also want to include the ability to have very high coverage. So we accelerate your time to coverage by providing built-in coverage that you can take advantage of, as well as having a verification plan, and then as um, also a test suite that you can take advantage of to go after that coverage. So by using our test suite, you can greatly accelerate your test development. So I'd like to talk to you about a few of the key features of the VIP itself. So first off, the VIP is structured such that you can configure it as either a root complex or an endpoint. This gives you maximum flexibility. Also, we support all the latest uh, versions of the PCIe spec, ranging from Gen 4 all the way down to Gen 1. We also have support for the MPCIe protocol as well. Finally, we give you UVM-based source code test suites. So you have these source code tests that you have full visibility into and you can customize as you see fit. Our applications that we provide enable you to get more done by accelerating your debug time and the way we do this is we have the applications available to you off the shelf and they enable you to send transactions, be able to automatically respond to transactions and have built-in scoreboarding enabled with them. And finally, we have error injection as well. And with our error injection capabilities, what you can do is have a selection of built-in error injections that completely automate the process. Everything from doing the injection itself to actually making sure that injection did happen and then recovering from that error injection. So in fact, if you tell it an error injection is going to happen and the device on the other end does not respond appropriately, that in itself becomes an error whereas um, having the actual error happen would be an expected response and thus be okay. Protocol checks, of course, built in, and the checks are built in across all the layers, um, everything from the TL down to the PL. And the idea here is to be able to have um, good confidence in, your, in, in adhering to the spec. The passive monitor is also another feature that is available to you. In fact, we have both an active and passive monitor capability built in. So the active is always on, but the passive monitor can be enabled by itself or it can be enabled with the actual VIP in addition to that. And it just gives additional protocol checks and visibility. And one of the key features of the, pro of the passive monitor is its ability to actually be configuration aware. So you can either backdoor program it or you can actually have it snoop the bus and then watch the enumeration sequence and program itself so they can do the appropriate checking. And finally, we have a bunch of debug features built into the model. So with this, we have everything from symbol logs to transaction logs, which make it really easy to kind of see what's going on on the bus, to our integrations with Verdi Protocol Analyzer. This enables you, again, to be able to have the graphical view and have that integrated in with your waveforms as well for doing detailed debug work. So I want to thank you for your time. And if for any more information, please go to synopsis.com slash VIP and you can download the latest data sheets and additional information, including things like this video. Thank you.